The alert looked routine, a blip on a dashboard, then another. And in minutes, traffic spiked across continents, quiet, surgical, relentless. F5 networks, whose gear helps keep the internet running, flagged an intrusion chain many missed. This wasn't a teenager in a hoodie, this was a nation state, and they weren't alone. Here's the shock. Over the past months, coordinated crews, backed by governments, have slipped into major tech and telecom backbones. Edge devices, VPNs, load balancers, identity providers, no ransom notes, no drama, just a methodical rewrite of the world's digital plumbing. The targets? Companies you've never heard of that touch everything you do online. Let me rewind. Step 1. Reconnaissance. They map internet-facing appliances, F5, big IP, VPN concentrators, firewalls, email gateways. Step 2. The door. Zero days purchased on grey markets or end days exploited before patches can be rolled out to thousands of sites. Step 3. Silence, living off the land, using built-in tools, encrypted tunnels, scheduled tasks, anything that looks normal. Step 4. Persistence. Firmware implants, stolen SSO tokens, poisoned updates, cloud rolls with just enough permission to blend in. Telecom operators feel this first. If you own the switches and signaling, you see movement before anyone else does. From there, jump to cloud tenants, suppliers, managed service providers. A breach in an edge box can become a skeleton key for an entire region. Why is this escalating now? Geopolitics, sanctions, proxy conflicts, an AI-fueled arms race. It's cheaper to slip into a load balancer than to sail a fleet. And because these attacks ride on trusted infrastructure, they're hard to attribute, harder to eject, and easiest to deny. What does that mean for you? Privacy, session tokens, and metadata can expose who you are. Where you go, who you talk to. Security, once tokens are stolen, multi-factor prompts can be flooded, bypassed, or replayed. Stability, when backbone gear is compromised, outages ripple, payments fail. Hospitals stall, logistics pause. It's the same playbook for espionage today and sabotage tomorrow. Here's the reveal. Patching alone won't save us. The front line isn't your laptop. It's the obscure box at the edge. The API broker you never see. The identity layer gluing logins together. Defense now means assume breach. Verify continuously. Rotate tokens fast. Segment everything. Watch the edges like a hawk. Hardware attestation. Immutable infrastructure. Short-lived credentials aren't buzzwords. They're seat belts. You can't unplug the world. But you can make it expensive to stay hidden. Demand transparency from vendors. Ask how fast they patch. How they monitor firmware. How they rotate keys. If your job touches networks, audit what's exposed. Kill old VPNs. And log the quiet stuff. DNS, authentication, lateral moves. The hidden cyber war isn't coming. It's already threaded through our routers, our clouds, our phones. The question isn't if someone's knocking, it's how long they've been inside and how quickly we force them back out.